how would you solve this equation? It says a cubed plus a square equals 36. Here you have variables on one side and on right hand side you have a constant. So how would you do it? First, we are going to subtract this constant on both sides. So we are going to get a cube plus a square minus 36 equals 36 minus 36, 0. Now, what are we going to get? By using trial and error method, you can find out one factor for this. If a equals to 1, 1 plus 1 minus 36 is not equal to 0. If it is 2, it's not equal to 0. So let's try the lucky number 3. If a is equal to 3. So let's substitute on this. 3 cube plus 3 squared minus 36 is equal to 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27 plus 9 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. So that's right. So a is equal to 3 is one factor. Now this, we are going to write it in the form of a factor, that is a minus 3 times you have something. Multiplied to something. Now how will you find out what is this? So first, what we are going to do is, you have this, I'm going to write it back, a cube plus a squared and then for this 36, negative 36 can be written as 3 cube, like how we have written here, 3 cube plus 3 squared is equal to 0. So I'm going to write it like that. Now I'm going to open up the brackets. a cube minus 3 cube plus I have a squared minus 3 squared is equal to 0. The next thing, what I can see is there's an identity. Both of them are identities. So which identity we are going to use? First is you should know what is a cube minus b cube. What is a cube minus b cube? It's a minus b times a square plus a b plus b squared. So you should know this identity. Now, what is a square minus b square? a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b. Now I'm going to substitute in this a cube minus b cube. This is your a, this is your b. So it's, what are we write? What are we going to write? a minus three times, we have a squared plus 3a. So I'm going to write 3a plus b squared is 3. Sorry, a. So we have a squared plus 3a plus a. Plus, I'm going to write a minus 3 and a plus 3. All right. <clears throat> Here we have a minus 3, a square plus 3a and b cube is 3 times 3. b square is 3 times 3, 9. a square plus 3a plus 9 plus a minus 3 into a plus 3. That is a plus b into a minus b. Now we're going to solve it further. Let's open up the brackets. We have a minus 3 is a factor here and a here. I'm going to take that out common. So I'm left with a square plus 3a plus 9 and I have plus a plus 3. So I have a minus 3 times a squared plus 3a plus a. 4a plus 9 plus 3 is 12. Alright, now what do I have? So the, there are two cases here. The first case is a minus 3 is equal to 0. So here I have number 1 solution. First root a is 1 is equal to 3. 
and the second root a square plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0 let's find out the delta that's the discriminant plus b square minus 4ac b is 4 so you have 4 times 4 16 minus 4 into coefficient of a squared is 1 and c is 12 so that is 16 minus 12 times 4 is 48 which is equal to negative 32 and negative 32 is less than 0 so our discriminant is less than 0 so it does not have real roots no real roots so only complex roots let's find out what are the complex roots so we can use quadratic formula that is minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so what is our b negative b so we have negative 4 plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac is negative 32 so i'm going to write that over 2 times 1 is 2 now let's solve it further as you know i square is negative 1 so i'm going to write that 32 square root of 32 i now square root of 32 is simply 4 root 2 i'm going to write that negative 4 plus or minus 4 root of negative 2 over 2 now what do i have if i cancel out 2's i have negative 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 2 i squared negative 1 is i squared so square and root that gets cancelled so you are left with negative 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 i those are the two complex solutions which you have that's your answer okay hope you like this session if you have any comments you can write it in the comment box uh, thank you so much bye bye take care